I met Otis on Seattle's One Line when I was on my way to the University of Washington for the summer 2024 street epistemology meetup. This was an interesting chat because Otis's ideas were different from what I've encountered, and so it took some time to get to the point where we had properly defined terms and could get to the justifications that underlaid his beliefs about the nature of time. We ran out of time before we could finish exploring his epistemology, which included the belief that the Holy Spirit had revealed the non-existence of time and the different number of months in the year than others believe. I'm hoping that Otis reaches out for a future chat so that we can explore more deeply. My name is Nick, and this is Conversations on the Coast. Would you like to? What's that? Just do a short interview while we ride the train today? Why not? What do you got to go Sure. On? So, um, uh, my name is Nick. Otis. Otis. Otis? Yeah. Good to meet you. Um, so, uh, I have a, a podcast, and what we talk about is what people believe. And um, so I'd love to hear about something that, that you believe. And then we're not going to really talk about the belief, but about the reasons that you have for the belief mm -hmm. and kind of the ways that you determine what's true. Yes. So it's called street epistemology, epistemology being the study of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like maybe something you're, uh, yeah, you're I mean, familiar I'm with. I'm a history major in color, so I might have oh, a little something to say. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So what would you what would you say uh, is, is something that you believe? Maybe something that's, that's important to you or or that kind of shapes the way you behave, or, or it could be something, you know, completely trivial. It's up to you. Well, one thing I, I believe from stumbling up on uh, some, some history uh -huh. uh, background years ago, yeah. that the true year <laughs> is only 10 months. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. The other two months were added to the calendar. Yeah. Google even knows that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, yeah. it's really something how that, and I also believe this here that okay. if, if, if people's birthdays, they, they celebrate their birthday, whatever, yeah. that was something that was passed down to us. Okay. But the uh, origin of the birthdays, yeah. we would be younger. We actually are younger than we are knowing that there's only, people knew that there's only 10 months in a year and Constantine added two months to the calendar. Okay, we're younger, we're younger than we are, okay. or we would be actually have to catch up. Yeah, to our days. Okay, or we had to put back our birthdays. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I I feel that I I, I turned sixty one this year, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I'd accept that. We, no, so let's define our terms. So when you say the year uh -huh. is only 10 months. Uh -huh. Do you mean that the actual solar year is like, what do you, what do you, what do you mean well, by the, a year? Well, the, the, what the, defines the, a year? Defines a year is, 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 they say it's by days, but to define a year, uh -huh. it's really by the weeks. Okay. So there's, you add up, they say it's 365 yeah. days a year. That's Columbia what, City. that's what the, uh, Invention was. Yeah. They invented the Roman calendar. That was invented. Yeah. We did. We did. We did you know, it was never here until year 190 A.D. Okay. And that came from the Catechetical Sioux of Alexandria in year 190. Mm -hmm. That's when that calendar was developed. Okay. In year 190. Yeah. Anybody can look it up and see it. Yeah. But today they won't teach that in the schools because they don't want the children today to know that. Yeah. They mm -hmm. want to keep passing down their things to. The children. And this is goes through our. This goes. This actually goes through our uh, our ancestors, mm -hmm. because the uh, the sundial was really uh, not determined by the years. It was determined by night and day. Mm -hmm. That's right. all it was. Sure. It was determined by the night and day. Yeah. But today we're the clock exists. Exists. Yeah. The clock. Time really doesn't. Mm -hmm. We wait on time. Time does not wait on us. Sure. We wait on it because we're looking at the clock. Yeah. So when you when you say time does not exist, what do you what do you mean by that? The light years are still there. Yeah. Billion years away, they're still there. Yeah. The space is never ending. Yeah. So there's no if people went up went up in space, there's actually no reference of time. Yeah. Because there's no one living them. There's no reference. People okay. don't have reference of where they're at. Right. 
so, or so, time. You know, when I say time, meaning what direction they should go, or you know, what yeah. what things that they, they they should they should do. But there's nothing to do. There'll okay. be nothing actually to to frame it frame it around. Yeah. So are you saying that when when you say that that there's no time? So say we're out in space. There's no box. There's no reference point. How do we do things? Like how how would I eat a meal? Well, in the ancient days, the normal day, the normal eating time was uh, probably I would say uh, probably the third hour of the day, as they say, the third hour of the day, meaning uh, in the app in the evening or afternoon, okay. something like past in the evening. But but if I'm understanding you, the concept of an hour or the concept of evening wouldn't exist. No. It would not exist. Yeah. Because, of course, we know that darkness is always overcame by light. Mm -hmm. You know, you hide something in the dark, can't find it, you got some light. Yeah. And the, the, the day was made from the darkness. It was darkness. And that's when the day was, that's, you know, without the moon and the stars and the sun, we wouldn't have any. That's what gives us day. Yeah. But it, it, it's, it's something you really can't wrap your mind around and, and, unless it's, unless you have, uh, unless you're kind of born to, you know, it's like, it's like uh, 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 the, the scientists, yeah. uh, the one that says that we have our, today's people have their preferences wrong. Yeah. I understand. Einstein? Hmm. Einstein? Sure. He even said that. Yeah. That's 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 seven, eight hundred years ago. He said he said Einstein yeah. even said that. He says today the world has their purposes wrong. There's no there's no flat earthers. He says that yeah. because of because of uh they're thinking that uh you know everything that we practice and do is the Roman calendar. Yeah. Uh we don't need it. We don't need it. Yeah. Because if you took down a Roman calendar, what would happen? The government system would fail. Hmm. Okay. So that people do things. I, I don't practice a lot of stuff. Yeah. Because I'm free not to do it. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's not. It, it, you know. It's, yeah. It's not. It's. it's so, it doesn't have anything to do with really the what time. And if people think it's time to for the going to the calendar, it's yeah. time for that. But it's, it's it's really a lot of it's a lot of it's really it's it's uh it's a lot of vanity. Yeah. It's a lot of vanity. So. So Otis, we've, we've, we've come a long way, right? We, you, you, you started out saying that uh, the calendar was 10 months, not 12 months. Mm -hmm. good. Yeah, That's good. literally according to the yeah. planet Earth. And then, yeah. we, then, then you said that time time doesn't exist. Yeah. And I'd love to keep digging in on that if, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah. So um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand when you say that time does not exist. I think what the things you're referencing are all about like our clock and the references, uh -huh. right, and the numbers and the hours. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, but does that mean that that without those things, that time stops? Well, when civil law came in, that's when we do have to uh, follow the order of this is the one law to the man-made laws. Yeah, because the first law was given by the creator. That's the first law. Yeah. You know, honor your mother and father, don't murder, not steal, not break what law, you know. Uh, don't, yeah. don't go in your, in your neighbor's field and steal his cattle. Yeah. But when you, that, that particular question like that is, uh, it basically it's just, it's just, we have to, we have to, we have to have a, the civil law came in hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Because they're barbaric then. Mm -hmm. and, and he allowed, the creator allowed to have civil law. The reason yeah. we would have civil law, and you know, it, it doesn't, you know. And are you saying that time didn't exist before the civil law came in? Or are you saying that time didn't exist until the creator created well, what, the... Well, when they say time, they're going by the clock, though. Yeah. They're going by this clock. Right. This, so, so let's say, hypothetically, uh -huh. let's say there's a world... Let's say we take away the clock. There's no clock. Uh-huh. Is having no clock... Like, would you say that if we have no clock, then there is no time? No, because the time, the, the time that we're talking about is something that we cannot manage. We cannot really manage time. Uh -huh. We can't manage, okay. we can't manage the, 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 the sphere, the sphere. Yeah. yeah the, we can't manage that. We can okay. manage only what they people tell us to do. Yeah. They, he, so, they're, 
we're being but, managed by the clock. Right. But if but if but if the clock doesn't exist and people aren't telling us what to do, yeah. Then then are you saying time doesn't exist or it's just our relationship to time is different? I'm trying to just well, trying to kind of pin yeah. down what you're Yeah, what well you're the saying. clock yeah. the clock exists so it's, it's giving us man made time. Yeah. Okay. Not the clock. Okay. It's a man made thing. That's all it is. Because okay. the clock never existed. Right. right. But right. now we're using the clock to to determine what time and what we need to do so we won't be late to work, so we yeah. get up and you know, we won't miss appointments, you yeah. know. And okay. if for probably if for probably wasn't for that, yeah. Who knows what, you know. Sure. You know, we got three we got you know, people said we got he's he's been dead for he's been unconscious for um you know, for 20 minutes, we just to, we've only got three minutes to try to see if we can get the guy back, the, you know, bring him back alive. Yeah. So that's got something to do with how much time on earth that, you know. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to So where, where, where is where, the... Where, what stop are you going to? I got to go to the... Uh, international? Okay. Where's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, three more stops. Three more? Okay. Yep. Yeah. This is uh, Beacon Hill. We've got uh, yeah. Soto Station so, yeah. Stadium. And, yeah. So we got a short time. So... But I'm still studying. I'm still. I'm still yeah. getting insight on. Are, are, but are you saying that if we didn't have the clocks and we didn't have man-made time, there'd be no time? We wouldn't know what to. We wouldn't even know what to do. Probably. Okay. <laughs> we wouldn't. So know what, why is what I'm saying? What, why, why is lacking time a good reason to believe that lacking clocks and a structure around time a good reason to believe that? Time itself would cease to exist. Well, because we, when we were, <clears throat> when we were born, we weren't born with. When man was the first man was created, there was no, uh, there was no, nothing to look at and be a want, so nothing to look at and say, yeah. well, it's time to eat and uh, it's, it's time to go to work. All they did, all yeah. they did was go out there and plow the fields, and that was done by sunset, mm -hmm. daylight. You know, I mean, who plows a field? I guess yeah. you know, who plows a field in, in pitch dark? You know, so. So that that's an interesting word you use, sunset. So would a sunset happen if there were no time? No, it would not happen. If, if there was no time, if, if the sunset gives you a clear, yeah, a wake up, it gives you a clear definition of what needs to be done. What yeah. you know, it, it, that's 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 a that's a creation. That's yeah, that was given to us. But 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 the sunset and the sunrise. It gives correct an idea. me if I'm wrong. Are you, are you saying that do, that does create a sense of time? Yeah, it gives an identity, but okay. it's a natural thing. Yeah, it's a natural thing. Okay. So so if we didn't have man-made time, but we had sunrise and yeah. sunset, are you still saying that there there would be no time? Or are you saying well, that sunset and th sunrise? This is what the ancient days did. They go yeah. when they would go on. When they would rest on, they call the Shabbat or the Sabbath. They yeah. would do that at sunset. Yeah. Like, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day. The, yeah. the Hebrew Shabbat. Yeah. Uh, when they rest, yeah. it, it, it starts at twilight, sunset. Yeah. And then it ends the next day at sunset. It's right. just like the day doesn't start. The day doesn't start at night. The day starts at, at in the evening. Yes, when the day yep. really start, and yep. then the, and then the day starts again the next. Day. Right. That's the way. It, 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 that's yeah. why it was always has been. So but it, we use like getting back. We use the clock to determine what time we need to do something. Yeah. That's not true time. Okay. That's just a that's just a man's idea, which you know now we have to go by. It's not okay. a crime to go so, by what we're. It's not a crime to go by what we're going by. Right. We do. It's not nothing like that, but it's not the it's not the uh, it's not the true origin of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are saying that time time exists, but man-made time is not in sync with with the, the natural time. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Great. Absolutely. So absolutely. So I'm trying to think where where we want to where we want to go with this because I'm trying to probe kind of like your 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 reasons for for believing and your you know it's like how you determine truth. So. Like the the, the ten month calendar mm -hmm. is interesting. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that the year would be a different length? Next time. Yeah. Well, the year. So, yeah. Whenever we say the year, uh, you can look that up and get some insight on it. The year yeah. is based on uh, uh, really the the turn of the moon. Yeah. That's what it's based on. It's not based on so much much, but it's turned in the month of this season. It's really determined on. 
how many how many times that moon circles the earth or, okay. or, 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 or that you see it so you can have six months and if yeah. that moon is they knew it they know it today the, okay. the, the the arabics and the hebrew in the, uh, the and even israel yeah. they know when the true months go by mm -hmm. they know how many months you right. know whether it's 30 days like okay. why would you have 30 why would you why would you have 28 days in a in a, in february yeah and that's not and it's supposed to be uh, uh, seven days in a week right because if okay. it would not if it weren't for the week we would know the day mm -hmm. okay so why do you why do you believe that the moon determines the because that the was year. because that was the that was the true ancient way that they looked at mm -hmm. the moon to determine okay how many months that's what they that's what they went by they and were so very why, they were very intelligent then. yeah so why do you believe that the ancients now, believe that well they were the stadium. first one Doors to my the first people they yeah. they they it was given to them and as time mm -hmm. went by as time went by yeah. years went by man started developing his own you know yeah. credentials for time and okay. stuff like that yeah. so i'm trying to get to like you you know a lot about the, the about those ancient times mm -hmm. Why do you believe that those things are true? Where did you learn this information, or where where does this come from? Well, I, in, I, in, in your I studied I I I, I studied I uh, stumbled upon that mm. by his voice, mm. his creation. Okay, and he called today the people call it the Holy Spirit, right? Right. Okay. He calls it the Ruach Kakadesh, his set apart spirit that he can reveal to anyone that wants them to know some things. Gotcha. Okay. He can reveal anything to a person. He can so, reveal it to a child. Yeah. So why is? Let's take your the, the revelation that you've gotten through the Holy Spirit. Why do you believe that that was a revelation from the Holy Spirit? Well, it, it's a never-ending thing because it's it, it's it's. district. It becomes a stamp, mm -hmm. and it's something you'll never forget. You, 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 you. Mm -hmm. When you experience something, yeah. nobody can't tell you that you can. You not experience it. Yep. Sure. Nobody in the okay. world. So, let's say. Let's say I have, am fully convinced that the Holy Spirit has spoke to me, and He said that there were eleven months, mm -hmm. in the year originally. How could we tell? whether my conviction mm -hmm. about 11 months or your conviction about 10 months is true mm -hmm. or if either of them are true mm -hmm. how, how could we how could we you and I explore and figure out mm -hmm. which one of us got a true revelation from all this well, you you wouldn't want to argue with you wouldn't want to argue with the guy because of that person then, then you become combatants you yeah. know <laughs> Yeah, 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 but how do we know? How do we? Yeah, you would, you, you, you would have to just, you would have to just is it, leave it be and 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 and, and, uh, and is it possible that we could both firmly believe that God has spoken to us, and and one of us is wrong? Is it possible to be wrong about that? Yeah, lack like of knowledge. Okay. So how can knowledge. we test to figure out whether you're correct or whether I'm correct? Well, he tested. You tested through the. You tested through his word, and you tested yeah. through. Uh, uh, you know, the first language that was written upon the earth was 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 the first language ever spoken of was Hebrew. I can, I can get off that? here. Yeah, this is it. This yeah. is International yeah. District. That's right. Anyway, now, I, this I, I don't want to keep you from no, your day. But, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. But, yeah, it was great. Was great. It was great no, we, talking with you. Where are you going to put that at? <laughs> uh, so I have a podcast. Yeah, yeah, and 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 so I have these conversations with people about what they what they believe. So when you come um, on television, not on not on TV. No, it's um it's on a YouTube channel called oh. called Sound Epistemology. Sound Epistemology. And I can yeah. look it up. Yeah, you look that and up I on can, YouTube. And I may I may be able to hear that. Yeah. Oh man. Indeed. In a few Sound. weeks. Let me get a picture of that. Yeah. 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 You bet. You've been listening to Conversations on the Coast, a series from Washington State featuring civil conversations using street epistemology to explore what people believe and why. Find out more at streetepistemology.com.